Hello, my name is Dr. Terry Alford and I am the uh, clinical director here at the Advanced Dental Cosmetic Center. This video is designed to teach you how to make a tray nearly as good as a dentist. So what I want to do is um, show you a couple of different ways we do this thing and, and how we can approach it properly. And what you should have is three bullet and bite trays and uh, you want to assemble those in front of you. Get yourself a cup so that you can put some nice um, hot water in it. And you can do this two different ways. You can either boil water on the stove or you can boil the water in a microwave oven. Now if you happen to have one of those Insta-Hots, it only comes out at about 157 degrees. As you can see there on the thermometer. And of course when you're boiling water, it should be approximately 212 degrees. Okay, I've just taken some very hot water. It's about 157 degrees out of the Insta-Hot. And I'm going to show you what characteristic needs to occur in the tray in order to get adequate molding in your mouth. When you place this tray in hot water, if the water is not sufficiently hot, it will not droop. And I'm going to show you because this just came out of an Instant Hot. We can set this in here for several seconds. As you can see, it's quite hot but the tray does not droop. It stays its normal characteristic. So 157 degrees is not adequate enough to mold this tray like you need to mold it in the mouth. Now in your written instructions it specifically tells you to practice with this. You'll want to place the tray in your mouth in front of a mirror to be certain that you can put it in and out without any difficulty and that you can practice molding it in your mouth. When you do that, all you really do is put it in the mouth making sure that the tab is in the very center of your mouth and then take your fingers and mold the uh, near melted plastic against your teeth on the outside and then another very good technique is to place your tongue on the back side of it and suck really hard to create a vacuum so that it is molded around your teeth for, for 15 or 20 seconds after you place it in your mouth. You'll want to do the upper tray and the, and the this same bowl and bite tray fits both arches and you'll practice with it also. In your mouth several times in front of a mirror before you get ready to actually start the process with the heated with the water and uh, heating the tray. Now when you do this, it's very important that you have practiced the molding of this process in your mouth. We're going to do that right now. Now here we've assembled our three trays and we've poured our boiling water into the coffee cup. And from the coffee cup we wait about a minute and a half to make sure that the temperature lowers to something that's very reasonable for us without burning our mouths. And I want you to see something. When you place this in here now for 10 or 15 seconds, 10 seconds is very, very good. You'll notice that it turns clear. If you leave it in there for about 15 seconds instead of 8 or 10 like I was showing you, that it begins to droop. Notice that it droops. That drooping is the outstanding indication that you'll be able to manipulate this into your mouth. When it droops like that right there, that is absolutely what you want and it's turned clear. Now, because the tray is very malleable, you can do this several times. So let's place this in, and then we're going to put it inside our mouth and begin the molding. And you see it's drooping. Now we're going to place it in our mouth and begin the molding. Now, even the very first molding, without modifying it at all, is quite excellent. As you can see, you can see impressions of my teeth, and I've pushed this up in next to the gum tissue. It looks quite excellent at this particular point, and even though this is only the first molding. So we're going to do a second molding of this, because now it is really accurate, and a second molding will make it much better. 
The water should still be hot enough to dip it again this time, but certainly since it's cooled off, it's not going to cause it to droop quite as dramatically. And you can determine the approximate temperature that you need to have this at by dipping it several times and you'll see it start to uh, droop just a little. And that's near perfect for remolding. Now, let's take a look at this tray. It's really excellent. You can see very good anatomy of the teeth. You can see an area where the gums are that touches the tray on the inside and toward the outside of the mouth. All we have to do now on this tray is trim the tab off and it is ready to whiten. Now that was pretty simple. So now let's reheat the water. It's important that it be at the same temperature as the first tray was and let's do the lower arch as well. This one turned out quite excellent as well. As you can see it's got good anatomy in the, in the outside surface and the inside surface. However, to make this perfect, nearly as good as a dentist, I'm going to dip this two times. Now that I've finished my trays, all I need to do is take a pair of scissors and trim off the tabs. I've trimmed the tabs off both of my trays and I've molded them very well in my mouth. If you're not happy with the way they fit the first couple of times, this tray is very flexible. You can dip it many, many times and mold it multiple times. Make sure that you don't trim off the tab until you're sure that the anatomy is very good. One last thing to know is that sometimes when it droops a little, the inside flap here will fold on itself. and It's a little difficult, so make sure that it stays up before you place it in your mouth for the molding. If you do that each time, it will work out perfect. So I want to give you some close-up pictures of these trays and you'll see that the anatomy is quite excellent here. That you can almost see an impression of the gum line around the outside all the way around. This is the upper tray. It's quite well done. And this is the lower tray. Again, too, made very well fitting all the anatomy of the teeth and the gums nearly as good as a dentist could vacuum press one of these types of systems. This is a well-made tray. It's nearly as good as one of those suction down type that I do here for professional whitening. This is the first step in success towards whitening. Thank you so much for watching.